my 2018 season was really the best season that I've ever, I've ever had mentally and physically. Uh, it was a lot of things that I was going through mentally, to be honest, and I had a lot of people behind my back to be able to help me and pull me through, especially with the Seahawks staff and stuff like that. And everything they did for me was amazing. Now, when we get to the football side of it, I did everything that I knew that I could possibly do and that I could bring to the table. I understood that it was all about being efficient. It wasn't about how many targets that I got. If I got 150 targets, I wanted to make sure I caught the ball 150 times or I caught every pass that was capable of me being able to catch the ball. And I think for me, that was the biggest thing that I wanted to focus on and do. I wanted to be efficient. I didn't care about all that other stuff, and that's exactly what I was able to do. For me, it's all about what the team wants me to be able to do. A lot of people thought that I weren't able to accomplish some of the things that I accomplished, but the biggest thing is when you're a team player, you're probably never going to accomplish the things in life that a lot of people have expectations for you to be able to do. Um, obviously, I mean, maybe it'd be different if I had 150 targets. Who knows what would have happened? I could have still had a way better season, 2,000 yards, or I could have had 500 yards, and people said, why are we throwing them the ball that much? But for me, it was all about what can I do to make this team better? What can I do to be able to bring something to the table that would be special to everybody around me? And all I want to do is be able to make a difference, not only in my play, but also in everything that I do in life as well as I'm on this team. You got to be able to count the little things. Like the little things in life is what makes everything like a monumental moment. And that's exactly what it was for me is going back to the little things, simplifying life and what it really means for me to be able to live and be happy. To me, ever since I've been there, he's been a big brother to me. And like that's something that I say, I don't really say people are big brothers to me a lot, but he's done nothing but try to help me be successful and help me be the best that I could be in life. Some people might think it's corny, but like I say, sometimes you need a corny person in your life. Like you need, you might need somebody to be able to remind you like, hey, let's get it going. Like, hey, come on, we got this. Like sometimes we get tired of hearing that, but when you don't have that, imagine if we ain't had that in our locker room, ain't no telling what would happen. Honestly, if I had to give a prediction of what I think is gonna happen, I would say this, if it's a shootout, the Rams will win the game. If the Rams get on top early and we and they have to make Tom Brady throw the ball to be able to win the game, I think the Rams win the game. Not because I don't think Tom Brady can do it. He could do anything. I just think the pass rush is what makes them so special, which makes the Rams so special. If it turns out to be a low scoring game, or even if it's a high scoring game, but the Rams offense cannot play, if the Rams offense doesn't play good, Tom Brady wins. The Patriots win. Super Bowl MVP, I would say if it, if it was for the Rams, I would say if it doesn't go to the quarterback golf, it goes to Robert Woods. I feel like he's a sleeper that will make the difference, that will change everything for him. Offensively, if I had to pick for the Patriots, it would be Tom Brady. I was blessed to be able to partner with Pizza Hut this year, and for me, I'm very thankful for that. Reason because that's something that I used to eat when I was younger. And the other thing about it is, like when you grow up and you play football, you never really know or think that you could be able to represent companies like this. So having a chance to be able to represent this type of company, I got to see like some of the things that they want to be able to do. One of the things that we did that I thought was special was the Book It program, where we teach kids how to be able to read, and we try to show them like, hey, knowledge is power. Now for me, one of the most nerve wracking things was I had to read in front of some kids. and I was nervous I was gonna mess up, but it ended up working out perfectly. I got to do it with a Seahaw girl, a Seagal girl, um, one of the cheerleaders for the Seahawks, and it was amazing. And also the last thing that I wanna be able to tell you guys is this, if you purchase pizza or wings on Super Bowl Sunday, you get 20% off at the NFL shop. So you know what that means. Go buy a Tyler Lockett jersey. Just letting y'all know that right now. Tyler Lockett, number 16, Seattle Seahawks.